is a brief review of the new version of Quake that was just released. It's definitely not an in-depth review as Quake would deserve, but I wanted to give this new version a spin to give my thoughts. The rumors we heard ended up being true. Sort of. Gaming news websites reported that a revitalized version of Quake was being released in honor of Quake's 25th anniversary. This rumor came about from a leaked QuakeCon schedule that was taken down soon after the story broke. A few hours ago it was released. And for those of us who already own Quake on Steam, we get upgraded to the Enhanced Edition, which you're seeing footage of now. This was also released on PlayStation, Xbox, and the Nintendo Switch. So finally, current gen players can enjoy Quake, no more settling for Quake 64 or homebrew apps or anything like that. Finally, a native version of Quake for everyone. Night Dive Studios does it again with this version, and it does come with some graphical enhancements, like depth of field, motion blur, 4K and ultra-wide resolution support. There's also additions like controller support and crossplay between platforms. This release also comes with the two original expansion packs, Scourge of Armagon and Dissolution of Eternity, as well as two new expansions from Machine Games. This is footage from the first level of the Dimension of the Machine expansion. Anybody who still plays Quake in 2021 will tell you to use one of many different source ports. Dark Places, Quake Spasm, Easy Quake, depending on what you're looking for. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, because it is good that owners got bumped up to this new version. This version of Quake doesn't go crazy with lighting effects like in Dark Places, but I think this is actually very exciting for console players that, up until now, haven't had a version of Quake to play. What I'm imagining in the future is mod support on the consoles. Bethesda's releases of Doom and Doom 2 made it possible for console players to download level packs handpicked from id Software. Obviously, it won't represent the mod scene as a whole, but I would expect quality level packs. Not so much game-altering mods like Quake Rally or Quests. Think Quake with chess. The rest of this video is me playing Deathmatch, which really is the entire point of Quake. The crossplay is appreciated. People can find multiplayer games no matter what platform they're on, whether co-op or deathmatch. But if you're a PC player, you're limited to using a controller if you want to play with console players. I had a very strange bug when I fired up multiplayer here. I was capturing video, but I had no game sound whatsoever. When I exited multiplayer, the sound came right back. It actually reminded me of how I used to play Quake multiplayer back in 1996. There I was on dial-up, like a 28.8K modem, and my very first computer had this weird M-Wave card. It was an IBM Aptiva, a Pentium 133. And it had an M-Wave card that was a modem and a sound card all in one. This meant that if I wanted to play a game in Windows with internet connectivity, I'd get no sound on my game because all the resources were being used up by the modem functionality. Times were definitely rough. So if I'm not responding to sound cues in this segment, that's why. But all things considered, I did pretty okay. I guess I'm used to playing like this. Quake Deathmatch has always been frenetic. I've never played this map before. I have no idea what this is. I'm just running around just really working on instinct. I know to get the rocket launcher. I know to get the red armor. I know how to keep people away. I'm just going for it. It's so exciting to see people just jump in and play Quake 1 after so long. It's one of my favorite games of all time because it just really nails speed. It feels good to traverse through levels. It's very fluid. It's a game that not only rewarded map control, knowledge of a level, but also reaction time because somebody could hit you with a rocket and it'll be a glancing blow. You ain't get knocked in the air or something, but you do have enough time to turn and retaliate and get a kill. And I love that. This is the Twitch shooter. The Twitch shooter, as we know it, kind of fell to the wayside as a subgenre of the first person shooter. Like the heyday was like late 90s, early 2000s, but then there really wasn't anything that carried the torch after that. The beauty of Quake is the fact that it's just simple. This originally was going to be an open world game where you played as a guy named Quake with a big ass hammer, like Mjolnir or something. And then they had to scale it down because of time constraints and what was possible with the engine at the time. And we ended up with something that was a lot more by the book in terms of a first person shooter. When I first heard the rumor of a revitalized version of Quake, my mind went crazy. I was thinking, man, if they came out with a sequel to Quake 1, because Quake 2 has nothing to do with Quake 1, oddly enough, it would have been great. Bring back the Lovecraftian influences. Bring back Ranger. Bring back a moody, atmospheric soundtrack. All that. Do it up. Someday. My hope is someday we'll see that happen. 
In this age where everything old is new again, perhaps, just, just maybe, Ranger will find one more game where he actually gets to go home. Because as of right now, he's, he's AWOL. We don't know where he is. We don't know what the hell he's fighting, what arena he's locked in. This man deserves to go home. I'd like to see a game tie that up in a nice bow for him. As I said in the beginning, this is a very brief glimpse of this new release of Quake that came out a scant few hours ago. If you own Quake already, you still have access to your original copy of Quake. This isn't what Blizzard did with Warcraft 3 Reforged, where they just nuked the original Warcraft 3 and the Frozen Throne from orbit. You still have access to the original Quake. You can just play it with whatever source port you like. Options are nice. I'm gonna let the rest of this match play out, but what are your thoughts on this new enhanced version of Quake? What are your thoughts on a Quake 1 sequel? Feel free to leave a comment below. Follow me on Twitter, links down in the description. There's more to come content-wise, but please check out what I have so far. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.